more adventures. All right, I got all this stuff strewn around, soon to be packed into just a few bags, but I wanna go over the top 10 essentials of an Alaskan mountain hunt. Now I do want to add that this is going to be a hunt with a base camp. If you were doing a pack out hunt or pack in where everything is literally on your back, uh, some of these things are really lightweight and they would go in, but you wouldn't be able to bring giant sleeping bags, backpacks, big tents, nothing like that. So we will have a four by four vehicle that we will be able to take a lot of the heavier stuff in and make a base camp. But since I am still going to be hiking for miles in rough country in the mountains, a lot of my stuff is lightweight. Okay, let's get to number one on the list. Number one is your rifle. Now, I suggest a mountain rifle. It's going to save you a lot of pain. This is the Kimber Mountain Ascent in 270, uh, six pounds and change with the scope on it. So extremely comfortable to carry. I've got... Uh, scope cover, so if you have some kind of scabbard or a scope cover, um, obviously a sling and a range finder is kind of a necessity as well. Also, packs for your ammo, little ammo pouches, makes a big difference. That's number one. Number two is your pack. Now, I have got... Where's my pack? Oh, it's over here. Number two is your pack. This is where you want to get high quality stuff. This is the Barney's Meat Hauler Pack. The professional hunters guides use this. So if you were just taking everything out, you would definitely want to fill that up. I'm also having a day pack, which is extremely comfortable. This is the Badland Sacrifice. It just weighs like a pound or two. And it's a, I can actually carry quarters and meat in it because this comes way up like that, um, holds my rifle, extremely comfortable pack. So I got a meat hauler and a day pack. Number three is boots. That's also something you don't want to cheap out on. So I got some Zamberlin right here. You want mountaineering boots if you're going to be in the mountains. So Kenetrack or something high quality must be waterproof. Now, you could go muck boots. Those aren't going to be as comfortable, but I have gaiters. I got sick to gaiters, so I can wade through streams as long as those are nice and tight um, and I won't get too wet. So definitely boots, wool socks, and gaiters if possible. That's number three. Number four is your rain gear. I've got the cheesy Sitka storm front stuff, um, but you almost want um, an extra lightweight thing of rain gear, but uh, August and September, it gets very wet. You're gonna experience rain most likely. You want rain gear, and that includes a military poncho. I also have a Kafaru Wubi that I will put under my poncho. Um, that thing has saved my life before. It's extremely warm, so that goes with all clothing. You want a few pairs of pants that will dry quickly, and just, you know, good quality wool clothing and synthetic clothing that's going to dry quickly. All right, number five is your tent and sleeping bag. A bivy sack, lightweight, is what I would use like on a sheep hunt or some extreme mountain hunt. But I'm going to try out this new Battle Box um, weird little teepee tent. So I'm super excited about that. So you'll need a tent. Sleeping bags, obviously, we'll have that in the vehicle. So tent and sleeping gear, that is number five. Number six is a stove, pot, also your, your water bottle or bladder. I've been having good luck with that camelback bladder. Just keeps me hydrated. I could just keep it in the backpack. I've got one of these little whisper light stoves or whatever, um, a little cooking pot, just some lightweight stuff. And then probably a lot of this type of freeze dried food. Um, just go lightweight on your food, but you're going to have to bring some food to keep up the calories. Um, hunting essentials, knives and game bags. So this Alaska pack was nice because it had came with seven game bags. And then I've got my three dog knife custom hunting knife set there. So the Mac and the Amok, um, definitely important. That's number seven. 
Number eight is headlamp flashlights. It's going to get dark, you know, 1130 around that time in August and September. So a headlamp, I've got this little headlamp that will stick to my, the Velcro on my hat. Uh, but I also got some like little lanterns and lights, but little mini flashlights that are very lightweight are helpful. So that is number eight. Number nine is the first aid kit. I've got some smaller ones, um, but just a lightweight first aid kit is definitely an essential. And number 10 is just comfort items, chairs, coffee, a mosquito net would probably be a good idea. I've got this little lightweight packable chair that just folds out into a little chair you can kind of squat on. So I've also got some shooting sticks that are fairly lightweight. These are predator sticks, really nice to put your rifle on. So that's what I have. Let me know what I missed in the top 10, but also if you're lucky enough to have a base camp, you can go back to, you can ditch the rifle after you get your animal and bring a chest holster with a 10 millimeter or a big board revolver. All this stuff is really important. You really got to plan out your hunt in Alaska because this land will kill you. It's brutal and it's unforgiving. So please plan accordingly. My name is Jude. I like to trade my guns just for fun. But now I have none. Oh, no, get shot by a bear. But I don't care. I got a 10 millimeter. Shoot out adventures. Why don't you almost die every time?